Right guys, back for another Dokkan battle video and we got the information for the brand new Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Gohan. It was unveiled or yeah, unveiled earlier today that they were going to be the part 2 LR. So they are tech, that is interesting. We're going to take a look at what they do. Uh, there are of course two ways to do that. So number one, thank you to Monado. He has posted the translations, so we'll look at his translations first. The Dokkan subreddit also has translations, though they are in process. So we'll check out Monado's first and then we'll move over to the Dokkan subreddits. So A rank tech units get 5400 attack and then 5000 defense. So yeah, well defense is going to be just under 14k and then attack is going to be just under 21,000. So stats look very good. I don't presume they'll get many percentages through their passive. So leader skill is what Goku's family will come in out of 4 key. And 150% of all stats here. Yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan of the 150 leaders, right? And it is a shame as well because the STI Kai can go and the Great Vegeta also saw the same treatment for a leader skill, right? During the seventh year anniversary, but it is what it is, I suppose. So 12 key raises defense for one turn, so that's a 30% defensive raise for one turn, although it should be. And then the 18 key raises attack and defense for one turn and does mega colossal damage. So again, another 30% attack and defensive raise. Right, passive, 59% attack, and then 58% defense. That's actually quite low, but let's move on. Plus an additional 5% attack and defense, and a chance to perform a crit by 5% with each key sphere obtained. Right, assuming, I think the average orbs that a unit can collect without factoring in any sort of orb changing units or items, I think is around like 6. So we're looking at probably like 30% attack and defense. And then like a 30% chance to crit. And this is not a buff like the GT Super Saiyans. It will activate at the start of turn. Okay. An additional 59% attack and 58% defense when performing a super attack. That's what I like to see. Of course, multiplicative buffs uh, always interact a lot better. Right? Once there are start of turn buffs. And then a further 59% attack and 58% defense when performing the Ultra Super. Key plus one per key sweep. Okay, that's very good. As an LR, that's a very good key mechanic. And then, and then they themselves perform an additional super. Oh, after active skill is activated. Or when key is 20 or more. What are the active skill condition? Can be activated after the fifth turn from the start of battle when there is one enemy whose HP is 59% or less. Or from the seventh turn from the start of battle when HP is 58% or more. That's not that bad. I mean, the second condition, right? Or from the seventh turn from the start of battle when HP is 58% or more. That's predominantly made for your longer type content, right? The legendary events, infinite Dragon Ball history stages, the ultimate red zone. The problem, of course, is the fifth turn from the start of battle. Like, that's not really good enough for Super Battle Road. Uh, effect performs a crit within the turn. Temporarily, ma temporarily, sorry, massively raises attack and causes ultimate damage. All right, Link skill, Golden Warrior, all in the family, same Warrior race, Super Saiyan, prepare for battle, fierce battle. And then legendary power, what are they missing? They're missing Kamehameha. I think they're missing Kamehameha. Again, we'll look at linking partners in a second, but I think they are uh, compared to the Goku slash Gohan exchange unit. And then categories, Goku's family, Kamehameha, Joint Forces, Super Saiyan, Android slash Cell Saga, Bond of Master and Cyclone. That's it. Two, three, four, five, six. Again, are they, I feel like they're missing... What are they missing? I feel like there should be a mastered evolution, like, right? Because this is Goku and Gohan... They've mastered the Super Saiyan form of this, but I also think this is a bit of a what if unit. If you haven't seen the animations, by the way, the animations look spectacular. They are almost a what if scenario, though. But I mean, that should still not. They should still be on the the bit. Okay, I was gonna say beyond Super Saiyan, but no, they should still be on the mastered evolution team. Hmm, a, a very interesting unit, right? There's a lot going on. I'm just gonna double check. Is the Dokkan Wiki quoting the same thing? Uh, okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yeah, plus an additional 59% attack, 58% defense before the super. Yeah. Oh, is that the same, the, the end part? Yeah, okay. I think for the most part, actually, yeah, the, the translations seem spot on. Uh, hmm, I don't want to call this... Again, we got to wait to to see this unit in action, right? Again, there's so many different instances of multiplicative buffs, right? The base is very low, so they're obviously not going to be a slot one unit ever. And they don't really offer much utility either because they're not rainbow orb changing. So I think a lot of this unit's power is going to depend be dependent on what kind of rainbow orb changes or just orb changes in general you can outfit on the team. Because again, I feel like the average is five to six orbs. That's pretty much only 30% attack and defense. So you're looking 
at this Goku and Gohan sitting at, you know, close to 100% attack and defense at the start of turn. The crit chance is nice, uh, but again, they get 30% attack and defense here. If you're able to get them to 20 key, primarily, they then get another 30% defensive raise here. And then they're getting like two separate instances of 59% attack and then 58% defense, depending on whether you're able to grab the ultra super or the, the 12 key super attack. So like them at their max... Like, what are they looking at? We're probably looking at, like, well over... I mean, again, I, I, it's really hard for me to calculate all this stuff. Uh, I just want to post this uh, preliminary video for now, but I think they'll be sitting at, like, a total of 400% once you can get everything activated, right? So I'm talking about once you're able to either launch the active skill or get the key at 20 or more, which is very good, right? Because, again, they, they do this, but the, the thing I worry about is how easy or consistent is it going to be to get them to... Uh, to, get, to get them to 20 key or more. I mean, the extra key per key sphere does help. It's a, it's a real, it's really impactful. It's really big. But again, uh, again we'll have to wait and see. Because again, their only key link as well. I keep saying again, but their only key link is... Okay, their only two key links are Prepareful Battle and Golden Warrior. Assume that they just start off on a regular team, six key. Prepareful Battle gets them to eight key. Golden Warrior gets them to nine key. You still need another... What are we looking at? 20 take away, nine, 11 key. They also get an extra key per key sphere, so at that point, you're looking at at least five key spheres to get to the 20 key. Actually, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm getting a unit of five key spheres. I feel like, yes, there'll be times where it gets shafted, but it's not going to be that bad. And again, in an ultimate red zone type event, which is, I presume, predominantly where this unit is going to shine, like, the when when key is 20 or more, or sorry, when they perform the, the, the active skill in the active skill condition seven from the seventh turn from the start of battle, I mean, that's very easy to do. So, I, honestly, the more I think about this unit, I think they are really good. It's just, again, it's very hard to judge a unit like this because they're like a... They're, they're, unit, they're a unit similar to, like, LR Goku and um, Frieza, right? Ideally, they want to be in slot 2. Uh, they got a lot of percentages on Super, so that does help them out a lot with uh, how well that interacts with their starter turn percentages as well as support units. But, mm, very interesting unit. So we did also pull up uh, the, the Dokkan info website. Again, thank you to Harry Turney for his website. I just want to take a quick look at this unit's, or, you know, this potential uh, unit's best linking partner. So just remember that they don't have Kamehameha, they have legendary power. So they will share a lot of links, of course, with the Gohan unit. Duh, of course, that's pretty good. Character that shares six common links. So Namek Goku, I believe, has Kamehameha. He does, but legendary power is not activated. So yeah, it will be six links with Namek Goku, which is fine. Uh, LR Gohan, again, it will be the same thing. He has Kamehameha, but once we have the LR next to LR Gohan, they will just have Legendary Power Active instead. But uh, this guy, I've, I've done a 200% leader skill showcase. Maybe I'll put that out tonight or today. Uh, he he needs an easier for sure. Transforming Goku is good, but remember, Transforming Goku does change his link set once he goes into Super Saiyan 3. Then move on to character share five common links. So, okay, that's pretty good. LR Super Gogeta is a really good after his EZA. We've got the Super Saiyan 2 Goku as well. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that should still be the five links there. Um, Gohan and Goten could be interesting after an EZA, but I don't think they're going to get one anytime soon now. Uh, okay, GT Super Saiyan Goku is there as well. Namek Goku is interesting if he gets an EZA. Yeah, he'll be a very interesting EZA, honestly. Super Gogeta. Okay, this Goku's here, but... I've never been too high on this Goku because you have to get him from Vegeta to Goku again, which isn't, I'd say, as easy or as reliable as you think, but still a solid pairing. Are there any other units here? Or any good, crazy units? I mean, that's pretty much it, right? I mean, there are, like, solid units like this AGL, Easier Super Saiyan 2 uh, Goku. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. There's Future Gohan. That's good. Uh, this Future Gohan, I've been using him in the Ultimate Red Zone, even without a Trunks at 79%. He does, like, better than, like, I don't know, 90% of the game in there, even though Trunks is not on the team, so he's missing out on that 120% attack and defense, but he seems... Um, that will make for a really good uh, rotation, right, for something like in the Ultimate Red Zone. We then come on to Character Share, four links. Okay, there we go, big dub, the gods, the blues. Uh, that's pretty much all you need, right? The only problem is that they are a double-tech rotation. But remember, the gods, they do have a 30% chance to dodge innately when you switch to the blues, and uh, you get dodge per rainbow key sphere. And they also... Of course, can go type effective as well. In Vegito is there, that's pretty good. LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku, they're Super Saiyan 3, although they wouldn't share that many key links, would they? No, but Super Saiyan 3 Goku does give himself 3 key, and again, this LR does get an extra key per key sphere. 
All right, there's that Super Saiyan Vegeta. There's Heart Rise Goku. Very good for Super Lateral type content. GT Vegeta, Legendary Super Saiyan Broly. Yeah, the good thing about this tech LR is just because their, their link set is so generic, right? In terms of it's not a bad link set. It's just what exactly what you'd want as a Saiyan, right? Prepare for battle, Golden Warrior, Saiyan Warrior Race, Fierce Battle, Super Saiyan, and the Legendary Power. And then if you are able to get this unit alongside another Goku family unit, all in the family is a very big defensive link. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this LR Goku and Gohan. Remember, they, they will actually link up with this unit right here because this is Goku slash Gohan, whereas this is Goku and Gohan. As for like data download and stuff, I presume that the data download will drop. Okay, this is where times get confusing, but for me, it will drop on Thursday in the morning, like at 3 a.m. in the morning. All right, so we're looking at, uh, let's see, not 24 hours, a bit under 24 hours. We're looking at like, 18 17 ish hours that's when we'll probably get to see the data download and then i presume the unit will actually drop on the friday as of me recording this i believe global has not tweeted this out yet so that does not mean that global will not get it i think global will tweet it out later because you know global usually are very late with this thing but yeah thank you guys for watching what do you guys think are you guys summoning honestly i may throw a multi or two just because this unit looks so cool and uh, yeah catch you guys in the next one peace